Will we be able to master a new card? Do I take a curse? There is a very early shop we can go to with curse 250 gold. There's a small chance we get a curse that is unmastered, in which case we may want to try to keep it instead. Overall, looks like the elite placement of the act is pretty tough. Either we're going to this shop or we're fighting an elite without a rest site. Kind of yikes. If I go to the shop, then we get only one elite, the burning elite. But we do get four rest sites. I guess I'm okay with that. 250 gold means we aren't that far behind by not killing one elite. I'm not sure I feel confident in any of the other starts to let us do the elites. So let's do this. We do get an unmastered curse. That curse is pain. Barring a tungsten rod, I don't see us keeping this pain for long, though. But we'll do what we can. Ouch. Bad turn to not draw Survivor, though. That's for sure. I think we'd better play the strike. Longer this fight goes on, the more we're going to draw that pain. Uh, one more time. Okay. Not, not bad. Ooh, terror first card. Always amazing on silent. You could make an argument for prepared so that we can discard pain, but I think we're just going to remove the pain very shortly. Terror is pretty spectacular. Pretty spectacular. Potion and Poison Stab, Deadly Poison, or Blur. Fighting the Slime Boss. Poison Stab is okay. Not particularly good in this position, but adequate. I think Deadly Poison is worse than Poison Stab because it doesn't work with a Terror. Blur is okay, letting us retain block for one turn. Kind of like Blur with so little immediate elite pressure. Let's take a Blur here. Normally I would take Poison Stab, but we're not in immediate need of damage. Hmm. What a fascinating store. Question card is here to provide more options. Chemical X is here to empower X cost cards. Of which Silent has some good ones. Have we mastered all the relics? Not quite. There's one we're missing, the champion belt on Ironclad, and it only feels appropriate that that be the final thing we master, actually. We will become the champion of the Spire. I really want this Chemex. I know it's not correct. Pen nib is correct. Removing pain is correct. Let's do the Chemex. I want it. Is it good? Probably not. Am I taking it? Yes. Do I need Noxious Fumes as a Slime Boss insurance policy? Probably, actually. We might need this card. Yeah, I'll buy it. I can also buy Piercing Whale. That's at least a good card. Hopefully we find some X-Cost stuff, otherwise I feel like I've thrown good money away for nothing. Wouldn't want to do that now, would we? Stibity stab. Hey. It's not worth a forge potion, that's for sure. How's it going, Crater Creator? 
made any craters lately? Hopefully, uh, you have. Dexterity potion alchemized. Now we're talking. Give me a random potion. Definitely. It's not an X cost card, but it is certainly good. We've got lots of good upgrades. I'm thinking fumes. Fumes first. Maybe alchemize second. Take golden idol for more gold in exchange for a little bit of max HP. Not too bad. I believe we've already won with two injuries. Hourglass. There is a way to get past Slime Boss. Three damage to all enemies every turn. I'm always happy to see this if Slime Boss is at the end of the act, as it's so much easier <clears throat> to win that fight. Wow. Um, still not easy, though. Yikes. What a, what a spooky gremlins encounter this is. Terrifying. Thirty damage headed our way turn one. If I Forge Potion, we can block 11, take 9. If I don't Forge Potion, we block 8, take 12. So it's only a Forge Potion for 3. I don't think that's worth it. At least Hourglass is here to help out. Without Hourglass, this is even more terrifying. We would be forced to use the Blessing of the Forge. I might want to use the Dex Potion. If I'm not using Blessing of the Forge, let's use the Dex Potion. That saves 2. And we are going to get a new potion, so might as well. Ouch. Take five more, huh? I guess so. I guess so. Nasty fight, man. Blade Dance is pretty good damage. Don't actually have that many core damage cards yet. That's part of why that last fight just went so badly. Blade Dance is good. Endless Agony is okay. I like Blade Dance a lot more. There's a lot more synergies with Blade Dance. We also get to remove Transformer Upgrade. I am definitely down for a Transform right about now. Although one could actually argue for an outright remove. You know what? No, let's do an outright remove. Lose one strike here. And I still feel good about this direction. Hey! Hourglass still at it. Putting in the good work here. Oh. Let's do the swift pot. Ghost in a jar. Gain one intangible. I like it. I like it a lot. Retain one block. The power. That wasn't so bad. Flex Potion seems quite strong with Blade Dance. Acrobatic seems quite strong, period. Really good silent card. Let's grab one early. I don't take these early enough, I don't feel like. Let's rectify that. And if I've got a Flex Potion, I'm upgrading this Blade Dance for one more shiv. So that we can kill whatever this is. Sleepy Egg. Perfect. Perfect. 
extra perfect. It's a great draw. And we should play this. Pretty good draw, sure. Don't want to mess with it. Good. Kunai! All right, now we're talking. Now the blur and the blade dance get a lot better. We play three attacks in one turn. We get to gain dexterity. We're offered a prepared. Which is actually not bad as long as I'm willing to upgrade it. Not sure that I am, though. Not when I could upgrade acrobatics instead. No, let's skip these. Good old kunai. With ghost in a jar, we should have no problem versus slime boss. So I think we're good to upgrade here. Let's do Terror over Acro first. Not expecting a Sneko Eye. Let's just use this now. Okay. This might be Swift Potion time. Can we enough damage next turn? I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't love this. Thankfully, we have the fumes and the hourglass to help out with these excessively high health slimes. Unfortunately, our draw order here was pretty bad. We prefer one of them attack us this turn so that we could block it. Uh oh. Problems Town, population us. This might be a ghost in a jar for us, unfortunately. Let's see here. 18 18, I drew Bupkis. That's pretty bad. Looks like I gotta use it. We can wail them down to 12 and 12. Block for 24, exactly die. Yeah, we have to use it. In which case, I think I play all three slimed here. Clean the deck a bit. Now we only have one slimed. Could we have tried Ghost and Jarring the big slime hit to do more damage? We could have, yes. But I wanted the possibility of saving the ghost, even though we didn't get there. This turn could still be pretty bad for us, too. Oh, good. It wasn't. Excellent. Oh, I think you might even split here, actually. Yeah. But look at that damage adding up. Even with the ghost in a jar, we'd be losing if we didn't have the hourglass. That's just how tough Slime Boss is. GG. Did you know that I play games other than Slay the Spire? It's true. Catch me over on Baylor Lord Plays for card games, RPGs, strategy games, and more.
lose the ghost, but there'll be plenty more potions. And what's that? A card that says X cost. Next turn, draw X plus two cards and gain X plus two energy. Oh yes, that is most certainly the card here. Without the Chemical X Relic, this would be a tough choice, but with Chemical X, very easy doppelganger. And we get Astrolabe, Runic Dome, or Busted Crown. Oof. I'm all for Transform and Upgrade 3 here, I suppose. Maybe do Strike, Strike, Defend. Being unable to see enemy intents is pretty tough. Being unable to choose from more cards is really bad. Let's take the uh, Astro here. Blur does improve the dome a little bit, actually, and so does Kunai. Maybe I should be taking the dome, but I'm not in the mood. Let's take uh, some random cards. Get a Bane plus, a Crippling Cloud plus, and a Distraction plus. Distraction's actually quite good. Crippling Cloud a little hard to afford, but uh, Doppelganger can help. Asqua Omni, thanks for the two months in the Prime sub. Appreciate you keeping it cozy. Hmm. Interesting shop placements. I think we want to do something like... This. Maybe more early events. Deck looks pretty good overall. Let's do the extra event. This is where having upgraded skills is very helpful. Infinite? Hmm. That's pretty good. We can do Crippling Cloud Defend. That's entirely reasonable. Take one. Sure. You get him, Hourglass. This does 30 damage. So this does kill. Bane is a card that slaps. Mr. Zorag says the three potion bonus start increases your rare card chance, correct? Yes, that's my understanding. If you take that starting bonus, you can find a rare card in the first card reward, if you're lucky. Why does the music, music sound like someone's altering the pitch over and over? Unfortunately, a common audio issue with Twitch. Uh, I can't fix it for you, but I can tell you that refreshing the page is the, the a common solution. If it keeps happening, it's usually an issue of a wonky connection somewhere between you and Twitch. Unfortunately, Ozoned, my answer here is to get good. You do not make the game any easier with the unlocks in Slay the Spire. Each character has, uh, I think, six cards and a few relics that they can unlock, but grinding these is, is not at all necessary to make the game easier or winnable. You can very much win on the first run, and your decision-making is going to be most of your success or failure. So, uh, my condolences for that news. This game is an amazingly skill-based game. Really, really delightfully replayable. Could have had double, double pain. If only. If only. <laughs> Let's upgrade this. If it makes you feel any better though, I will say that Slay the Spire is one of the hardest games I've ever played. Even the base game with no difficulty modifiers is uh, quite a challenge, especially if you're new to the deck building concept or genre. And at maximum ascension with all difficulty penalties, the game is hard for anybody. Really challenging. Sel Barona, thanks for two months of the Prime sub. Appreciate you keeping it cozy. Clang, clang.
Cling, cling. And let's just go ahead and cycle the fire pot, I guess. Those poor birds never stood a chance. Hey. Refuse to take one. Unacceptable. Double terror. Okay, that went reasonably well. Infinite blades could give us more shivs, albeit slowly. I don't think I want expertise or choke. These are all kind of niche. We're looking for more blade dances, more cloak and daggers. What other attacks would be okay? Hmm. Calculated Gamble would be good. Anything X cost? Oh, Skewer would be good. Ooh. Interesting. Zero cost Nightmare, huh? Give me something to dupe with that. That's more like it. Nightmare Alchemize. Go. Maybe that was supposed to be Bane, actually. Sure. More card draw, please. How about I just have uh, 10 cards and 8 energy this turn? Does that sound fair to you? Sounds fair to me. is okay. Yeah, Masterful Stab is okay. I think it's actually good enough. Zero cost, pretty decent base damage, goes with our card draw effects, and I'm really lucky to see a surprise merchant here. Oh man, with some seriously good offerings. Frozen Eye is here, Incense Burner is here, Sneko Skull is here, another Blade Dance is here, Zero Cost Block is here. Really good options. As far as relics go, the Frozen Eye is very powerful, allowing us to view cards in order in the draw pile. Skull makes the fumes better and would make an Envenom become really good. As far as damage scaling goes. The shop does seem like a better way to, to scale our defense. Skull plus eye. I'm leaning more along the lines of blade dance, remove good instincts. Although I should buy the uh, eye instead of either the remove or the good instincts. That is a really good good instincts though. So maybe just pass on the remove. Got another shop coming up later. Yeah, just pass on the remove. Go Frozen Eye, Blade Dance, Good Instincts. I think that's what I want here. With the Kunai, the Good Instincts are very good at blocking, or is very good at blocking. And I'm going to upgrade the other Blade Dance, too. All right, first elite is the Book of Stabbering. Draw some more cards. Alchemize is here. All right, let's do Fear Pot. Then is this enough block? Take one. One is okay. Next turn we have Piercing Whale, Crippling Cloud. Turn after that is terrible. Is there anything I can do to fix that? Shoot. No, we're getting stabbed really badly on turn three. And there is nothing I can do about it. Actually, wait, maybe I can do something with blur next turn. We'll think on that. I 
I could dupe pot the blur, knowing that this is our draw. That might be worth it. Instead of playing Crippling Cloud. Yeah, that might be correct. That might be correct. When you scry, scry are the cards in order? Yes, they are. We're left to right being top to bottom. Ash clear with a year and a half. Thanks for 18 months of support. Could do Crippling Cloud, do Pot Blur. I don't think that's correct. Piercing Whale, do Pot Blur. Still take a little bit this turn, but not nearly as much as we would have otherwise. Main Barbu with 30 months. Thank you for the tier one. Ho ho ho. Well there. How do you do? Minus five, huh? That's almost a full block. Easy peasy. If I do minus four, you go to three, goes to two, two by five. So survivor malaise is it. And then draw three more cards next turn, which will be these cards. Bonk a lonk. Take one more, sure. Sure. Awesome fight. Is the Chemex a reference to the Powerpuff Girls? Warning, do not combine with sugar, spice, and everything nice. I'd say it is. Dodge and roll's not terrible here. If it said plus, I'd take it. <laughs> Are there any unmastered silent cards? Unload still. Definitely still unload. Let's see here. I would like to draw Alchemize next turn, I think. So we want to double for four. So let's go Crippling Cloud, double. Skip the rest. Souffle. Gonna add a lot of days to the draw pile. That, as ever, is a problem for future Baylor. He'll deal with it. He always does. Smiley face. Not even that bad a draw. Easy peasy. Still have to block this turn, though. Still not that bad a draw. The turn after, though, is a problem. The turn after is definitely a problem. I guess we could play this as well, then. Okay, so we have got backflip survivor next turn. No prob. This is totally fine. You're not dead next turn, though. Mr. Cultist Man. And I'm drawing nothing but garbage here. Hmm. 24, you say. Ouch. You are dead next turn, at least. Let's go ahead and use this.
Power potion. And some stuff I don't want. At least the potion's nice. We can remove at the shop? Yes. So we do want to go there. Okay. Bit late for ceramic fish. Let's skip this. Giant book, you say? Hmm. Gotta pay 21 health for the book relic. There's some interesting possibilities. Hey, grats on getting to the uh, hard on A20, Marusian. Mariusin, excuse me. Necronomicon into Fighting Skewer? I mean, can rest immediately. Let's see what we get here. And Caridian would be pretty sweet, and that's what we get. Random power card on turn one that costs zero. I think that ain't bad at all. Not too shabby. Accuracy is here. Heel hook is here. It is not the day for heel hook, though. It is the day for more backflips. Never have enough backflips with kunai. It is random which of the three book relics you get. That's right, we know what we're drawing to. Yes, it is random which one you get. Probably should have set up the flower there. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, didn't. Oh, but we do get thousand cuts for the three slavers. Definitely like to see that. Turn one alchemize as well. Shiv Survivor? Shiv Survivor. Perfect block. What a satisfying turn that was. Let's go. Okay, that was excellent. We get an eternal feather, heals at rest sites, which is very good, broadly speaking. And there's a cloak and dagger, which is quite good if I'm willing to upgrade it, which I currently am. Yes, I, I am willing to do that. Cool. All right, I think we had a very good act overall. I think we're in a very good position overall. And I like this run overall. Onwards. Let's employ a power potion against the automaton. And Venom looks really good. So does Thousand Cuts. Let's take an in Venom. Break through those artifact layers, no problem.
Makes this Bane more reliable, too. Expiction. You're gonna steal my Doppelganger. Which I don't quite like, but it's fine. Poison on the boss. We want the orb to die next turn. If the orb dies from poison next turn, we can doppelganger before the hyper beam. That sounds good. To doppel into hyper beam turn. So when the orbs steal a card, they take the rarest card in the draw pile. So looking at specifically what's in the draw pile, they check rarity. If there are multiple cards of the same rarity, they'll take one at random. But if there's only one rare card, for example, they'll always take it, which is why Doppelganger got taken there. Oh. Okay, that's already a full block. We can do damage here. But my face, though. Draw 10. My hand is full. Looks like we might just have a kill here. In addition to a full block. Yes. GG. Very solid automaton fight. Tools, wraith form, and burst are the rare choices here. Burst looks very good. Burst with doppelganger, burst with alchemize, burst with some other skills, all very powerful. Burst with Blur? I like it. I think Wraith Form is usually redundant in decks that have a kunai. Tools is okay. I want the Burst, though. Burst Blur? Lots of good Burst options. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. We do get offered a Snekowai. Pandora's box is transform five. Or we take extra energy in the form of the Philosopher's Stone. All enemies get one strength, but we get one more energy. And with so much dexterity, we can use that one energy to block far more damage than the enemies gain in strength. So I think Philo Stone is just a winning proposition here. The only real fear is the heart. We do have one piercing whale. We'll want a couple more or a malaise. This shouldn't be too bad, though. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, not very many elites that we're allowed to fight. Kind of a sparse act overall. Hmm. Guess I'll check the earlier store. Doesn't matter that much to me. Set up. I love it. A 
fight one elite instead of two? Or wait a minute. No, I did pet that wrong. For some reason, I thought there was another elite here. Because I'm not paying attention, that's why. Finally, we get a well laid plans. And a calculated gamble. And an accuracy. That'll do. Well, that will do. Now, we're in a pretty good position. Can we find any cards to master at this point? Seems kind of unlikely, unfortunately. But that is what we would like. Shouldn't need a vis right now that we have accuracy. Fight. These two can be quite nasty, but I don't foresee too much of a problem here. take some damage next turn and then we're in the clear after playing doppelganger just give me the double and they will topple also if I can KO this one this turn I should let's do that nice all it cost me was three potions Easy peasy. Entropic Brew. We get all the potions back. And a footwork, which I will also take. Although we're kind of behind on uh, powers to upgrade at this point. We want to upgrade the well-laid plans, the accuracy, and the footwork. I don't think I get to upgrade all three of them, though. Play the accuracy, I suppose. Block. That's not a full block. I was a bit worried about that. Uh, we've got a healing coming, though, so we should be fine. We should be fine. though. Maybe need two liquid memories, something to burst? Probably. 
Yeah. Falling asleep at the wheel here. That one. Get him. Leg sweep. We don't have good weakness at the moment. We just have the Crippling Cloud, which will fall off eventually. And an unupgraded Neutralize. We need... We need Leg Sweep if we're going to stop the heart. We need it. Very happy with the free accuracy in this fight. Definitely a problem otherwise. Cloak and Dagger. Hourglass for the win. Hmm. Next turn looks very bad. What do you got, distraction? That's vaguely helpful. But only vaguely. Snack oil. Hmm. That could be helpful. I'm gonna go with that was helpful. Lots of zero cost stuff. Lots of stuff that is not zero cost, but that's less important. Nunchaku is excellent with so many shivs. That'll give us energy back to play more cards. Which makes another acrobatics very reasonable here. Let's take one more. Yeah, I wish I could provide that information, Billy Zell. I, I don't uh, don't have the, the manufacturer or make of that old chair. It was indeed a, a local manufacturer. And I think it's discontinued you know, on top of that, so... Getting the exact chair impossible these days. Simply impossible. I like it. I like it a lot.
play the fumes. But the first wants to be upgraded too. I have too many upgrades. Bummer. First, that. I guess. Ornamental fan, here we go. Even more incentive for spamming attacks. We've got kunai, nunchaku, and fan, which makes shivs real good. Let's take another blade dance for that reason. With this many relics, it's okay to spam shivs even against time eater and heart, which is normally an obstacle for this sort of deck. Lizard tail can keep us alive even if we would die. Cool. Hit the spiker. Easy. Finally attacking, too late. You missed your chance. Too late, grand finale is here. I'll take it. It's an unmastered card. Maybe there's a faint chance we can get another one. I was hoping it'd be right here, actually. <laughs> that would have been pretty fun. Uh, we want to keep enough money to actually buy another grand finale, though. We do, we do. So, don't buy anything here. Those shackles are tempting. Did we not master finale the other day? We did not. Can't remember exactly where that run died. Shield and Spear, that's right. That was a miserable time, actually. Couldn't counter Shield and Spear. And got done in. Okay, though.
Yes, that one. That's the correct one. Can't do that. It's Parasite mastered already. Yes. That was pretty early on in the challenge. I think one of the first curses we did. I actually really like this Blessing of the Forge, as we do not have the ability to upgrade all the most important cards in the deck, so being able to do that during the heart fight might be nice. Upgrade Gamble, Accuracy, Footwork or something, or Burst, lots of options. We'll be upgrading well-laid plans at this fire. I think that's the most important upgrade, is the Retain 2? At least I hope so. memories here? I guess so. I suppose. My hand is full. Convenient. Vigil 72, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the Cozy Sub Club. Falls. Dagger throw, bane, or reflex. Grand convenient, that's right. Reflex, huh? With two acrobatics, is it's not bad. Let's take it. And uh, I think our upgrades are going to be well-laid plans first, and then maybe burst or accuracy is the next one. Probably burst. Time Eater could present a problem, but I don't think will. Trying to figure out if I play distraction here. I think we just gamble, draw six here. Acro for footwork. 
sure. Good fight for the strength potion. Good fight for a dex potion, too, actually. Let's just go ahead and use that. So yeah, we do Blade Dance, two other cards, Doppelganger. That's 12. Good. Hmm. Guess I'll just go Footwork Defend Defense. Oh, wait, no, I have to Blade Dance. Excuse me. Wrong order. Have to Blade Dance. There we go. Ow? Hopefully that's the only hit we take. Now that well-laid plans are here. Would be the time to piercing whale while we're while we're being multi-attacked and we're, we are vulnerable that's definitely the time to do it definitely keep leg sweep cloak and dagger First, the Cloak and Dagger. Build your own blade dance. This is fine. Time meter below half prevents the attack on this turn. Just keep leg sweep backflip. Just keep leg sweep backflip. If you retain an ethereal card, does it still disappear? Yes, it still does. There's no cheating the tax man. Backflip, backflip, distraction. Oh, we got another terror. Amazing. Convenient, actually. But why so aggro, though? Tim? What have I done? Easy. All right, we have more than half our HP, one potion still. 
I feel pretty good going into the next fight here against Donu and Dekka. I think these two will be quite a bit easier than him was. Awaken one would have been pretty easy as well, for the record. Guess I don't use this yet. Part seems bad. I can burst crippling cloud, weaken them both. Footwork burst crippling cloud, I could burst acrobatics. Oh, that would draw me a lot of cards right now. Let's do that. So we get the reflex, and then I can gamble. Okay, that seems slightly better. This gets in play. Although now we're taking even more damage, right? Hmm. I'm gonna use this. Looks like we need some help. Ever a time where Don Deca and Donu are the are harder than the other two boss fights. If your deck is very slow, these two will be the most threatening of the three. Pretty rarely that that is the case on A20, but it it can certainly be that. It can certainly be that. Do you want to burst blur next turn? That sounds reasonable. That sounds very reasonable. All right. Exactly. A, a deck that, that would die to Donu and Deca often doesn't even make it there in the first place because Giant Head will stop you or Repto will stop you or the Act 2 boss will stop you. But sometimes those runs can get here to die to these two. Only sometimes, though. Definitely only sometimes. Grand finale. I'm one short. Dang. We need to be dead sooner rather than later.
did that wrong. GG. Two thump, two thump, two thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of all these kunai procs? Will we get the second finale? You deal 2004 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. It's almost always better to retain a card than not, Ice Fraud. Uh, even if you can't use the card, simply preventing it from being shuffled back into the draw pile is an advantage in and of itself. Can I explain proc? Oh, it's, a, it's old internet slang. Lang. Ostensibly stands for procedural random occurrence. Colloquially, we use proc to mean we activate the effect. When we proc something, it, you're you're activating the relic. You're triggering a conditional effect. You're making some kind of bonus action occur. Let's do the. Burst upgrade, although I'm not 100% on that. Finale? Dolly's Mirror, it's here! We get to duplicate the finale. Will this be the double finale run, or do I buy malaise with Chemex? I mean, we have to, right? The challenge says you gotta dupe the thing. So, whether it's good for us or not, it's finale time. Encore! Gamba Brew sounds good, too, actually. Although maybe that was Dex Pot Deflect. I'm not going to take another Fumes. Ooh, great turn one here. We've even got Burst Piercing Whale next turn. Excellent. Should be Leg Sweep Survivor, I guess. Keep Piercing Whale Gamble, go Burst. Yeah. Piercing Whale Gamble here. I actually really like these potions for hearts. Just footwork neutralize. 15 cards in the draw pile. Next turn's gonna be tough to block though, huh? Hmm. 
Uh oh. Shoot, that's bad. Damn it. They had to both attack this turn, huh? It's not good. Ultimately, just a lot of unupgraded stuff in this deck. It's terrifying. Let's see, we can acro, draw three, discard this, draw three more. Get to Blade Dance accuracy. Can we ever kill you this turn? Actually, we might be able to. If I'm willing to use the Gambler's Brew. Let me just quick math here. Shivs will not deal that much damage, actually. Only seven apiece. No, I would have to Forge Pot. And Gambler's Brew. That doesn't seem like it helps. Hmm. Well, maybe. Could do Burst Alchemize to get back two potions. You know, you're not actually wrong about that. We actually could. Oh yeah, and if actually no, if we're if we're gamblers brewing, we can also finale, actually. So no, we don't need to we don't need to use both. Okay, let's just acrobatics then. It also only draws two. Still fine. And a free leg sweep is also pretty cash here. So gamble five. Gamble 5 sounds good. And to think we were worried. One uh, Alchemize will be enough. We definitely want to make sure we play that Alchemize, though. That is required. Oops. meant to burst blur there. That's fine. This is a good turn to win. Two and nine. Into graph. <laughs> Classic. We get a piercing whale. That's pretty good. Second piercing whale for the heart. I like it. All right. Two grand finales. Going into the heart here. We've got uh, 37 cards in total. Decent amount of card draw. The all important frozen eye and a second chance at life. Here goes. We also have Caltrops which is a very good upgrade with Blessing of the Forge. We can upgrade accuracy as well. I think that's perfect. So backflip, forge potion. Looks like the play here. Upgrade the Caltrops, upgrade the accuracy, upgrade the footwork, and get all three in play on turn one. That's a pretty good start. That said, the draw pile looks kind of bad, not going to lie. We may need to play this leg sweep to make sure we don't get uh, totally stomped here. And yeah, we should probably use the attack potion before playing the forge pot. Okay. Gra no. Nice try, though. We 
could do Blade Dance, Leg Sweep, Skewer. Excellent. Excellent turn one. Two points of dex. Took one damage, whatever. Lots of damage on hearts. Lots of weakness on hearts. Key powers in play. Pretty perfect. Depending on how many statuses are in the top five cards, we may or may not have a good next turn. No statuses. Good. Very good news. I see we've got Burst coming up. We could do Burst Alchemize, Burst Doppelganger. Some pretty fun options here. Let's just do a regular Acro to start. Definitely like the idea of Burst Doppelganger. Although I need to make sure I don't die to this hit. We're cool to tank a lot of damage here this turn. Go defend, backflip. This is five card plays, so we go down to six block. We still live, yeah, yeah. First, double alchemize, double doppelganger. Six cards, six energy next turn. Keep. Oh shoot, we don't have. Oh no. We didn't have Willy plans down. We're still fine though. Very scared for a second. Still a 3 by 15 attack despite the weakness because of the Philo Stone. Definitely thought I had well laid plans down. Oh, this is going to hurt. Glad we have Lizard Tail. Uh, currently we're dying. No, we're not. Although this is... This is living on two. So I have to stop playing cards if I don't want to lose the Lizard Tail this turn. And I'd really, really prefer not to, because I want to be able to use it to absorb a big attack. So I think we stop the turn now. Keep what? Crippling Cloud? Fumes. Distraction could save us, but it's not guaranteed to, so I'm not going to. I know we have six energy unspent. Feels bad. Yeah, keyword could. Caltrops could save us. More energy. So we can go defend Cloud Fumes. Yes, that's safe ish. Get rid of the Void. is a big hit. This is what the Lizard Tail might be for. We'll see. Hmm. Gamble would let me play Leg Sweep Good Instincts. Five dexterity, so we would block for 14 plus 19. So 14 plus 19. It's 33. We die because of beat of death. And that would also prevent me from retaining Whale, so... Probably just going to... Use the tail here. What about Survivor Cloak Nigger Good Instinct? Ooh, that is interesting. Survivor Calculated Gamble. 
Good Instincts, Cloak and Dagger. How much is that? This brings us to 20 block, 18 block, 30 block. Yes, we can do that. That does keep us alive. Uh, let's see, we discard this. We'd have one, two, three, four. So we can't pull for four. So the next turn we draw one, two, three, four, five. We can do burst, leg sweep, backflip for the multi hit, which is only going to be four by 15. We can fully stop that, keep the piercing whale for another cycle. You know what? I actually like that quite a bit. Keep Shiv Blade Dance? Sure. Oh, the wait, I just realized I can't do burst backflip leg sweep here. Because the burst. <laughs> Shit. Because the beat of death on burst kills me. Oh no. Uh, what if I do backflip burst leg sweep? Is that enough? That looks like it's still enough, actually. That would be 10 block. Plus 38 block. 48 minus 4. No, that will not be enough, actually. Whoops. Bummer. Weak brings it to 3 by 15, which is what I'm doing math against. So I guess we just use the Lizard Tail now, then. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. finales are going to line up, but I should keep at least one blade dance here. This one. The piercing whale coming up. I like that Masterful Stab is uh, 12 cost. <laughs> Use the tail. <laughs> Be the tail. Potion there. Eh, not close enough. Potential grand finale mastery run? OE of little faith. What do you mean potential? Grand finale is here. So is Skewer, actually. Yeah, what do you mean potential? cost masterful stab let's go stop hitting yourself GG there it is grand finale if you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to check out Baylor Lord Plays for variety content. Click the blue Baylor icon to subscribe.